Rachel. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Happy Sunday. Happy bling bling day. I'm excited. Today we are going to do another mermaid tail. I am doing it on that amazing swipe that I had had done. And yes, with that, go grab yourself a drink. Go get something to nibble on. And I'll be right back once I get my working clothes on. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Hello, I am back. I have my working clothes on and we're gonna get into this. I think this is gonna be so much fun. Now, I promised I would have done this a while ago. This is a um, amazing swipe that I did. And I always thought that it looked like it was a um, ocean, some form of an ocean with the bubbles and the, here, I'm gonna take this out. I was wondering why it seemed like it was so high. Uh, so, looks amazing. It's already been varnished and I feel really, really bad because I don't think I have a video for it. I've looked through my repertoire and I couldn't find one. So it's already been painted. It's already been varnished. I think it turned out amazing. So today we're gonna do another mermaid tail on it. So this is just, this is the exact same one I used with the other one. And I, before we start, I'm gonna apologize about the sun coming in. I have no control over that. It's the middle of the afternoon. So with that, we're gonna carry on. So I'm gonna take my, just, I all I did was I Googled um, mermaid tail silhouettes kind of thing, printed it off, and this is what we have. I'm thinking I'm gonna lay, she's gonna come out of the water again, but I'm gonna angle it a little bit like this, like that, and we are gonna embellish the corner. I think is gonna be cool. So I have these starfish, so I thought we could put that there, and I have this bag of all kinds of different shells, and this one, Pretty sure it came from the dollar store of some sort. And what I'm gonna do with this one, the other one I found was, it was pretty, but it was busy because the painting itself was busy. And I put so many different colors in there. So this one, all I'm gonna do is the body of the mermaid is going to be, cause it's um, a little more black down here. So I thought it would be nice to have my blue this is the decorative filler from Ashlyn, decorative filler from Michaels. And then I'm gonna add, for a chunky glitter, I'm gonna put, of course, they're all Miss Amazing Laura's glitters. This one is mermaid, appropriate, mermaid tail. Look at that, look at that. So I thought that would be, <laughs> there's the a little bit of a, a mess, we'll leave it. And then the, Finn, I'm going to use the silver Ashlyn decorative filler and I'm probably going to use my mirror mirror as a chunky and just a fine silver just so we can get all of the stuff covered. And with that, everything I use most of the time when I do my bling blings, I love to use Try Art Liquid Glass. There is a link in the description box of where to purchase it. Um, it's made in the town locally to where I live, so it's kind of cool, but it, they ship in a different, bunch of different places. So I will link that in the description box as always. Once you open this, it is op you can use it forever. It's crazy. I had the other bottle for almost three years, and once you can add to it, you can add paint, you can add, I don't know about the pigments very well, but I know um, I did take a course on flip cups with it and you could just do some amazing stuff with it. I will link my other videos I have. There is there is some videos with my doing flip cups with painting and that. And once they're in a bottle like this, they're good for a long, long time until you go to actually open it to the air, and that's when you have the problem with it curing. So, any hoodles, I'm gonna get rid of that. So, we're gonna get into this, I'm excited. So, I'm gonna grab my, 
pen. I have my stencil. This is not a stencil, this is carbon paper. And we're gonna put this down here. It might not come on the bottom, but it'll definitely show up on the other spot. So I kind of want her to be a little bit, let's see, kind of like that, I think. And then have our little um, shell stuff on that side. So with that, I'm gonna grab a pen. I love to trace with a pen. And of course, you know, we've got to have a blingy pen and a blue one appropriate. These came from the dollar store. So I'm just going to outline this. And this is just an estimation, guys. You can elaborate. Like here, I don't have the end, so I'm going to elaborate and bring it up like that. You don't have to be rigid with your art, my friends. Everything, you have fun with everything you do. That's all that matters. And I'm hoping it turns out down here because I can't see. Oh, there, I can faintly see. And that's perfect. Let me see, I got a white. But I don't want to do that. Uh, a little bit of a silver. I can see. I can. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. It's very faint. And down here, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna put any markers or anything on it because I don't want it to be something else I have to cover. So with that, oh, I better move. Oh yeah, that's there. Okay. So with that, I'm gonna take my. Tri Art liquid glass. I have it in the squeeze bottle and it always works well because I find the squeeze bottle, you can get what, what you want and you don't have to worry about it. Um, running all over the place, you can place it better. So I'm gonna do, start with the tip. I'm gonna outline everything. Stand on the side so I can kind of see. There we go. And this side. And then I'm going to fill this completely in. See, I came off. My line is up here. But it is. it doesn't matter. So it's just, like I said, don't fret over all the little most art can be fixed. Not everything is always broken if you think. There we go. Now we're going to fill all this in. It doesn't have to be a thick, thick layer, but enough to make sure everything's coated so everything will stick the first time. And that is why I opted to do liquid glass for all of my bling blings anymore instead of using I used to use resin because if you've watched my channel you know that I'm a, a one-time shop kind of gal I don't I don't like to read have to redo things if I do not have to so this is one of the steps that I eliminate because I don't have to come back and put another coat and put some more and then 
Other people use Mod Podge and it works for them. I just, I just didn't find it worked for me. And it depends what you're putting on, right? Like I like putting big bulky, what did I just do there? I come out. So I'm going to take my finger. And normally this doesn't have bubbles. There was just one there, but. This you could use as a top coat. I just find for that kind of stuff would be expensive for what it is. Um, I enjoy using it this way. And it's classified as a pouring medium. So if that confuses sometimes when I, I don't know if I actually point that out or not. And it's probably not sticking quite like it would normally on a canvas because this one's covered with varnish. And I don't want it on the, over the edge. So that's perfect. Didn't go over the edge. Now, I might adhere the, oh, I should get, well, no, I don't want, well, maybe I should get some sand, maybe. Do you think I should put sand a little bit too? We'll see. So I'm going to grab my glass. I'm going to put that down first. We're going to go. can wear gloves. This is actual broken glass. So yes, you can cut yourself. I just, I've been doing this for so long. I just choose to do it with my open hands. so they actually stay on there. there. I think that's good. Perfect dropping them. So that's good for that. And I'm going to get the silver. Now this one you're more apt to cut your hands with because it's very fine compared to this really chunky one. So here we go. I'm 100%, 100% sure this is broken mirror because you can see one side is white like a mirror is. And if you don't like that, that's, you know, that's the only downfall with this one I find compared to the others. Let me, I just need a little more in this area. First you get a big stupid one with that broken glass. You can take your time, you can flip it over. That you're more than welcome to attempt to do. <laughs> but for me right now, I'm not doing that. Um, where did I put that little silver? So my fine on this upper part, but let's do the top part first. My fine is gonna be silver sparkle holographic glitter. And again, like I said, all my glitters today are from Laura's Art Corner. Look at that. Amazing. So you want the fine first because you want to make sure it's going to stick. 
So whatever you want to stick the most, you put down first. I don't know if that makes sense is what I'm saying. That's why I put the glass first, because I want to make sure the glass is adhered. And all the glitters are the little bonuses. Okay, so that's enough for that one. And then I'm going to come back. This one isn't labeled. This is my amazing mirror mirror from Laura's Art Corner as well. And oh, the only thing is with this one, I don't think it'll come through the shaker part. Let's see if we can do this gently. I put the oh my gosh side. You really want to make sure you cover all of that liquid glass because whatever is left, you will see shiny. Now I'm seeing some spots here, so I'm going to come back in. Whoa, ah, with the wrong glitter. I'm going to come back in with the silver and see if I can just come really heavy around the edging of everything here. Because I can see. Some of that glass, the <clears throat> liquid glass. Don't worry, don't fret. All of this does not go to waste. When I shake this off, I will have a puppy pad underneath and it will be beautifully done. So, I'm choosing to use Shifting Seas. It is amazing. I'm going to open it up so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it in there. It is a blue-green shifting. It's beautiful. So we're going to do that on the bottom. And it fits through the shaker part. Can you see that? I can see that. It looks beautiful. And then we're going to come in with my nice, I shouldn't have shaken that. This is the mermaid tail glitter. Look at that. The chunky. Get my finger in there. And this is where I'm going to pick up just a little bit of color. Hopefully it'll stick in there. Shoodles. There. That's about that. Let me just try. Oh, that's mixed. I'm going to put all of this together when I shake off. So we're got our tail done. Now, I've pulled out my little glue gun. And I'm going to glue the tips of... Let's put this down here like that, I think. So I'm going to glue the tips where it might touch, get rid of all those stringies. Let's like that. Let's hold it for a second or two. There, perfect. Now, I've got these other ones. Now let me get into the bag here. I don't know, you get some pretty neat, amazing things at the dollar store. And let's see what we got. We got this beautiful shell. What if we kind of went like that, maybe? Let's see. I'm going to dump some of them out. These little ones. Let's see. Let's spread them all out. we got all kinds of these guys. Oh, well, let's get a colored one. I think we've got some. 
Oh, that wouldn't be pretty. What if we did something like that? Kind of stand it up. That. And then maybe something like something like that. All kinds of these little guys. So what I'm gonna do. kind of hard with this tri art so I'm gonna glue this these ones I'm gonna glue so I want this to kind of stand like that so I'm gonna glue all of this down here and we're gonna kind of put it like that and it's coming off the canvas which is kind of cool Oh, I should have done that before I put it in there. That's fine. Should I maybe put that up that way? And then I think maybe that and then that might be what do you think? we'll do it this way yeah maybe that'll be it I'm gonna glue all down in here so it'll stick underneath and maybe here so it can stick to something else again put it up in underneath like that perfect and then maybe a, just a couple of these little guys this whoa we'll do this guy and again I'm gonna glue <laughs> right down here get rid of all of that drippies put him kind of like that maybe a Decisions, eh? What else do I got here? I got these little ones too. No, I think we're good. We'll put one more of these and then I think that's it. Put this guy here maybe? No. Another one of these little ones. We'll do a little one here. I'm going to glue all along here so it sticks. Maybe we'll put him here. Kind of like that. Cool. I think that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to put these all back in the bag. We're going to let this all dry. And with the other thing with that liquid glass, I, I love it because it, um, it dries fast. Usually within a couple hours, I can, I put my fan on it. And usually within a couple hours, I can pull all this stuff out, shake it off, and it's good to go. And it might cure, you might need to let it cure a little longer, but I can shake everything off within I'm gonna say in a couple hours so with that we're gonna let this dry cure whatever you want to say I think that's gonna be cute something else for my sale next couple weeks away okay I'll see you guys when it's dry okay we're back we are dry let's shake this off look at that not too much
There we go. I think they turned out cute. I love the aspect of the the darker with the white tail. It's not as in your face, but when you see that, you can see the purple in there, the pink in that mermaid glitter. And I love the little stones. I probably should have put sand on there. Ah, shake, shake, shake. But I like it. I think it turned out cute. So with that, my beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed today's bling bling. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. It would help my channel out a lot. And hit that bell for notifications and let you'll know when I have another video. And with that, everything I've used today is in my description box. And <clears throat> with that, I have the links in my description box of where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass, which we used here today. I also have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts molds. I have the links to where to purchase molds and shapes molds. I also have the links to where to purchase <clears throat> crystal resin with my discount code of Sherry Molten 5, capital S. I also have the links to Let's Resin with my discount code of Sherry M, capital S, capital M, 10. And make sure you use the link that's in there. Also, I have the links to the two amazing Lorenz distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada, my Canadian distributor for Lorenz and much, much more. My discount for my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Moulton 10, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru, where all the glitters came from today. She's my American Lorenz distributor and my glitters and much more. Go check out her website with my discount code of all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10. And with that, my PayPal is in there if you choose to help donate <clears throat> to donate, sorry, to help my channel out. And I'm an Amazon affiliate, which my links are also in there. So with that, my amazing people, I hope you enjoyed today's bling bling. Happy Sunday, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. And there you go, guys. Here's a close-up. I think it turned out cute. Look at all that glitter. That is amazing. I just love this painting. I just, oh, I think that just adds to it. And all those little shells. There you go. Bye guys.